Hello everyone, it is Wednesday the 3rd of January 2024 and we're steaming into the new year with lots of grace and love and joy, aren't we? I am doing our cards today, our daily reading from the original Rider Way tarot deck, conceived of by E. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. Let's see what the energy of the day is bringing us on the 3rd of January 2024. Let's get the energy of the day. I'm hoping the cards are a little bit lovelier. They've been a little bit quite what I wanted, I think, as we've been going along. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what our energy of the day is, our problem and our solution. Let's cross fingers that it's good. <laughs> right. Okay, the energy. Oh, the energy of the day is really, really nice. You got three of cups. It's celebration. You are celebrating something or you're feeling celebratory today. I've, have you noticed this? I don't know if you've noticed this, but yesterday we had a two, a number two. Oh no, we had the energy of the two because we had the two ones. So it was the second. Today we've got the third. It's the third of January and it's the three. And it's the three of cups. You are being told by the angels through this. And I'll, I'll tell you about the energy in a moment, but you're being told that you're moving consecutively through the, the lessons and the things that you need to do as you move through 2024 things are going to work very very flow very like the Tao way i'm going to flow beautifully and you're going to move consecutively it's going to be good it's going to be good because good when things go consecutively it means you're in the right vibration the right energy um yeah there's not a lot to be said today you're going to feel in a whether you feel it or not the energy is celebratory okay the energy is a celebration energy maybe it's someone's birthday maybe it's an anniversary or something there's something being celebrated whether it's you or someone else but if not if there's not a celebration and not a birthday or not anything like that you're being told to raise your glass to the new year to recognize the fruits of your labor from 2023 to recognize what you've done where you've been how you've created the life that you've got and to celebrate that they're asking me to tell you that they're saying celebrate your wins as opposed to looking at the things that haven't gone right they're very very centralized on that celebrate what's good in your life as opposed to looking at anything that isn't so good they're saying in the energy of the three the vibration it brings you into mind body spirit connection it also connects in to the triad the trinity there's a lot going on there you're being asked to connect into that vibration understand that vibration today on the 3rd of january the 3rd of january is also a 12th day because remember yesterday i said it was an 11 day so 11 12 so today is also a three there is something vibrate did i get that right is that right hang on let me just add it up because eight yeah, it is. It's a 12 day. So it's a three. So we're consecutively moving through the year for 2024. So yeah, so it's also a three. The energy is three. Three links in to spiritual concept. It's a kind of in religion, three is very aspected. It's a good number because you can always become part of the energy of the nine and the nine is a divine number so there's a divinity in the celebration as well it's good it's good energy i like it for you guys and the problem if there is one i don't see a problem with this it's the king of cups i do not see a problem here i do we have the king of cups on monday i can't remember on the first yeah so i think it's good i don't think it's a problem i think you've moved into the energetic vibration of what you needed to feel from monday do you know what i'm talking about do check monday's reading <laughs> always go back it's fine you know even if you watch these a year from when i do them they will have a message for you so yeah so do do that check into that yeah they're not they're not highlighting a problem they're highlighting that you've stepped into your vibrational high energy this is probably why you're celebrating because you've understood that there's something needing to occur You've understood that you need to self-care. You've understood that you need to love yourself, feel grace for yourself and recognize what's coming in your life so that you can move deftly and purposefully into it. That's good. No problem. So the solution had two cards. Interesting because the solution holds the problem a little bit. Okay, I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, so please don't get scared of this card it's not a scary card not a scary card okay not a scary card i'm warning you now but we've got the devil card come up okay and the devil card is a very symbolic of you being bound to something okay being bound to something that isn't good for you let go of it i'm intrigued with this 
I'm intrigued with this because it's linked to this. Remember what I said on Monday. Do go back to Monday to check this so that it makes sense because it won't make sense without that. And I can't remember what I said. So you need to look at that, okay? Because there is something you're, bo you're bonded to. You're feeling a bondage and connect. It, it's not good for you. Right, this is boundaries. This is being in unhealthy relationships that do not serve you. This is being in friendships that do not serve you, jobs that do not serve you. This is release, release, release. The angels are telling me it has to go. It has to go on the level of the devil because the devil will hold you in trapment, in trapped, until you see that you are being held in bondage. But like I said, that's not the solution. The solution is this. So the solution is the eight of wands. So the solution is you negotiating your way and recognizing when something is for you and when it isn't the angels are telling me you, you need to grow something to solve whatever there isn't a problem as such only maybe a little bit of this right but the angels are telling me that to solve that the only way forward is to regrow to start again to become new to find new perspective and from new perspective you will step into new loving life that's what they're telling me to tell you that's what they're saying they're saying it's key Remember today is in the energy of celebration though. Do not let that end part drop you off of the fact that you're in celebration, loving, happy energy and things are good, okay? That is just a warning to release anything that doesn't serve you by understanding it in a deeper way, okay? In a more intellectual way, okay? It's a little bit more masculine, all right? There you go, my lovelies. That is your reading for today. Anyone who watches me regularly, I'm sending you all big love. Anyone new here, I'm sending you big love as well. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd be so super grateful. I want to get more people on this YouTube channel and make it a little bit different this year. I am sending you so much love. Namaste, everyone. Do hit like. It really helps me out. It really does. And I'm very, very grateful. And I'm saying thank you for that in advance. And um, yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful day today on the 3rd of January. And I will see you tomorrow with our readings for Thursday. Sending you so much love. Mwah, kisses, lots of love. Bye.